So, you killed Morello. That must have felt good, huh? We celebrated. Salieri was thrilled, of course. We ran the whole town, practically, and there seemed to be an end to the bloodshed. For a while, I felt like a king, until I came to a realization. If a regular guy like me could kill the most powerful man in the city, what good was all his power? Hell, if he hadn't been so powerful, he'd probably still be alive. It seemed to me that no matter how strong someone was, there was always somebody stronger to take them out. So where did that intuitive thought take you? Greediness is bullshit. When you have no money, you think that a few bucks a month will be enough. Then you realize that it wouldn't be bad to have a nice car. You'd get a great job in some high up position, but in actuality, you're thinking about going higher. Before you know it, you want to be the President of the United States and you want to win the war against the Germans. Luckily, that won't happen. Plus, the whole strategy of watching other people's backs has one basic flaw. The whole time you have to watch your own back in case someone else has the same idea. So I thought to myself that maybe I ought to change my priorities a little. Great Bible story. <laughs> Laugh it up. You know where it got me in the end. This. Who is it? It's from 1920. The old man is Don Pepone. The two younger ones are Salieri and Morello. This photo convinced me that this kind of life is poisonous. Morello and Salieri were friends, and they were both commanders of Pepone's regime. But in the 1920s, they got Don Pepone killed because of some deal. Strangely enough, Salieri still admires the guy now. Afterward, they divided up the city, and each ruled their own part of it. But they started to compete with each other. I ended up being Salieri's instrument of death to kill his best friend, to save him from looking Morello in the eye. It occurred to me that my friends and the people I loved were the same. Someday I'd turn to Polly and be looking straight down the barrel of a gun. I couldn't be sure of anybody, above or below me. But you were risking your life every day. Being a sharpshooter for the Mafia ain't no better roses the way you tell it. It's different when you're living it. When you're full of energy and you're fighting for your life with someone who's like your brother. You're just two soldiers who know what needs to be done. And it all depends on your ability to survive. It's a war. The constant feeling that you can't even trust your best friend is terrible. You are alone and death can come from anywhere. I'd lie awake at night wondering if the joke my best friend told me was really just a joke or if I should get prepared for my own execution. A person needs someone he can trust. That guy sickens me. He controls half of the brothels in the city, doesn't pay us a dime, and then has the nerve to say he's ending crime in the city. Of course, I wouldn't give a damn about what he says, but him and his whores are trying to expand even into our territory. I have a feeling it's time to finish his political career. With the election such a long way off, we'll have to remove him physically. I don't know, boss. Haven't we seen enough violence for a while? I just have a strange feeling about this. Tommy, we're on the verge of running this town. He's the only thing that's standing in our way. You want him knocked off in public like Morello? In public, yeah. But not like Morello. Remember that knocking off a politician is messier than offing a gangster. We don't want anyone to implicate us. The speculation and fear will be enough for our purposes. So, uh, how are we gonna do it? Mr. Sewer has a rally today in a park on a little isle off Central Island. There's only one escape route over a small bridge, and normally it would be a problem, but Vincenzo has an idea. He took a regular army rifle and put a telescopic sight on it, so you should be able to hit him from a much greater distance. You won't even have to be on the island. Where then? You can get a beautiful view of him from Central Island, from the tower of the old abandoned prison on the north tip of the island. You'll have the whole park right in front of you. And with that rifle, it won't be difficult to take out your target without attracting too much attention. 
That doesn't sound like a bad plan. Good. Talk to Vincenzo and get the rifle. Okay, boss. And remember, Tommy, you have to do it from a distance, and nobody must see you. You'll probably only get one shot at this. If you don't hit him immediately, they'll cover him and the job will be ruined. I got it, boss. I still gotta go to Vincenzo's to get a heater. Hey, you got some heavy duty gear for me, Vincenzo? You need to pick this guy off at a distance, right? So I dug out the best weapon for you. The military trains by mounting a sight on this standard rifle, similar to a hunting rifle. I got hold of a Mosin Nagant rifle. It's produced here, but the Russians upgraded it to a marksman's rifle. It's a good, precise weapon. It looks interesting. Well, I hope it works. Well, Tom, take a decent handgun, too. You never know who you might bump into. Ain't that the truth. Thanks. Maybe Ralphie has something for me. Hey, t -t -t Tom, I have this for you. It's a sensible, s spacious, and solid car. I think you, 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 you like it. Yeah, and you, you, you can get into it real easy. Thanks, Ralphie.
Hey, mister, you can't come in here. We're working. Can't go in there. You deaf?
Watch it, he's coming for us. He's here!
bitch, I'll put my name in your face! That's him! That's the guy I was telling you about! I said uh, don't move! Yeah.